Hey guys, welcome back to the Exam Vision YouTube channel. My name is Ellen and today I'm going to be talking about some last minute tips to increase your grade in Leaving Cert Maths. Honestly, these tips could probably work for higher level and ordinary level. And the same tips will kind of work actually for junior cert maths, higher and ordinary level. So I'm just here to help you out with maths. Some very last minute tips in your couple of weeks leading up to the leaving cert. Just some things you can implement before you see the exam to try and up your grade that little bit extra. Obviously, if you're getting like a H4 right now, there's probably not the most likelihood you're going to get a H1. So I'm definitely not going to say that these tips are going to get you a H1. But they definitely might increase your grade a little bit depending on the exam, depending on the kind of person you are. But yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the video. The first thing I want to talk about is your time management techniques in terms of what you are studying and how long you are spending studying those topics. Obviously, you might only have, let's say, 20 more hours to study for maths before the actual exam because you obviously have six other subjects. But I just want to kind of talk about what I think you should be using spending that time doing and some things you should avoid. At this rate, with your exams only in a couple of weeks, I would definitely try and avoid any really difficult sections that you personally find difficult. If there is a topic that you have just never gotten maths, it never clicked, you don't understand it, you're still trying to understand it, and it just isn't clicking, you don't get it. At this rate, you're probably never going to understand it and that is completely fine. But I would really avoid spending a lot of time still trying to understand it because at this rate, you don't have the time to do that and you should be using your time for topics that you know you understand and you know you should get nearly full marks in the exam questions. Honestly, for most people, this isn't like a full topic they don't understand, it's just like bits and pieces. But honestly, unless you feel like you know the rest of the content, like the back of your hand, and you have time to try and give your last shot at trying to figure it out, I would honestly leave it, I would ignore it. If there's any little bits and pieces you don't get, I would just leave it at this point. It's not worth wasting time still trying to understand it if you've been trying to understand it all year and it just never worked out. And that happens for a lot of people with different kinds of topics, different kinds of questions. For me, I got a H1 in maths, but I never looked at proofs. Not that I didn't understand them, but I never gave any time to them. And so when it was coming up to the last couple of weeks of my exams, I completely ignored proofs, didn't look at them. Uh, was just hoping for the best. And I still came up with a H1. I didn't answer any proof questions. I was lucky that I had a little bit more choice in my exam compared to the exams now because of COVID, but it's still the same kind of thing. If there's parts of questions you don't understand, you don't feel like you have the time for, just ignore them. Do not let it bug you down. Some things people are just not gonna get and that's just that. Use your time to focus on the big topics in maths, like algebra, trigonometry, derivatives, probability, especially for paper two. I wouldn't be using all of your time to do like financial maths. And I'm saying that with chest because I loved financial maths so much. And in like the couple days leading up to my leaving cert, I did a bunch of financial maths questions. So I was like, I'm gonna get 100% whatever this question is. And it didn't even come up on my paper. So only focus right now on the topics that are definitely coming up. Algebra, derivatives, trigonometry, probability, all the big topics. Do not be focusing on topics that may or may not come up. Obviously, if you have not covered them whatsoever, you might want to do a little bit of a dabble in them, a couple of hours. But if you've already answered some exam questions on them, you've done pretty well, you're happy with it, don't spend time going back and doing more. The next thing I want to talk about is some last minute revision techniques. What I did for maths especially was if there was any topics that I didn't feel the most confident in, I might be able to do the exam questions, but I didn't feel super confident, like I knew it really, really well. I would have like a sheet of paper, like an A4 sheet of paper, and I would write down all of the difficult parts of that topic. As in, I would like take past exam papers that I wasn't able to answer and I didn't understand, and I would do them out, write the question, write the answer, all of the most difficult parts of that topic. And so it was like a little summary sheet so that right before my exam, I could read over the summary sheet, kind of understand what was going on. So I was walking in with a little bit more knowledge and it was fresh in my head. The summary sheets I literally did for like every topic, even if I really knew a topic, but I would just try to summarize everything I could get asked. And I would be explaining it and writing little notes in my own words and like how I understood it. Just so right before the exam, I could skim through everything really fast and be going in with a fresh mindset of everything is fresh in my head. If maths is not like your best subject ever and you're really just trying to maximize the amount of marks you can get, make sure you have those short questions down. The short questions most of the time are pretty easy. They're pretty repetitive every year. Obviously there might be one or two that are a bit dodgy, but all in all, a lot of them are usually pretty repetitive and pretty easy to get down once you know how to do them. So if you're really just trying to maximize your marks and you don't think you're gonna get like a bunch of the long questions 100% correct, focus on your short questions, get them down. And then in the long questions, honestly, just be writing everything you can 
anything you know on the topic, write down. Because I promise you, a formula could be like half of the marks. So just write down a formula from your log tables. So that's the way in which you can maximize from the long questions. But for the short questions, I would really try and recommend going through a bunch of past paper short questions and just doing them all. Again, you could use summary sheets for this and you could write down all of the most difficult short questions in the past I don't know, 10 years, and write down how you did them, and then right before the exam, you can skim over them so you have a fresh head going in. The last thing I want to touch on is really just like the day or two before your maths exam. Everyone is afraid of maths, literally everyone. Even if people are getting H1s all the time, it's still a very scary subject. Do not put a huge amount of pressure on yourself. At the end of the day, if it's like two days before your maths exam, you've done what you can do. There's no point trying to cram and stress yourself out. It is gonna make your head muddled and full of this random information you don't understand. Just don't do it. It's really not worth it. The day before your exam, you might do one or two little short questions. You might do an extra long question that you didn't feel super confident in. You might be finishing off your little summary sheets or just reading over them. And honestly, that's all you can do. I wouldn't be trying to do like five past papers the day before your exam. It's not worth it. It's gonna stress you out. Eat some food, go to sleep, you know what you know, that's all you can do. Going along with that, definitely like the week before your maths exam, you should really like set the scene, put on a timer for how long you will have in the exam, turn everything off and just do a maths paper that you haven't done before. Even if you have to go back like 15 years to get to a paper that you haven't done before, just sit down and do the entire paper. See how you feel with the timing, how long you should be spending on questions, and then afterwards correct it, see how you did, see all of the mistakes you made. You might add those mistakes onto your summary sheets to not forget the next time. I do this like three or four times and I would sit down and just do an entire maths paper without looking at any marking schemes. It just sets up that exam environment so that it's not so scary when you do actually go into the exam. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it was somewhat helpful. Good luck in your maths exam. I really, really hope it goes well. And it's just the process. You know what you know, don't panic. I will talk to you all very soon, bye. Also guys, be sure to check out the exam revision courses and bundles. I actually have a 20% off code for you. I'll put it on the screen now. Um, they cover majority of the Leaving Cert and Junior Cert subjects. They have H1 standard notes, video lessons, presentations, quizzes, exam questions, everything you will need to succeed in the Leaving Cert and Junior Cert.